how to increase your power of love. How to increase your power of love. And we're going to be talking about romantic love and friendship love. They say everybody loves a lover. When somebody is in love, the world just changes, it's transformed. And one of the worst things you'll see in a relation between a man and a woman, a person says, I love you, but I'm not in love with you anymore. That's, that's people, oh, that's a kill. Oh, no. I love you still, but I'm not in love. Oh, no. Everybody wants to not only be in love, but have this significant other be in love with him or her. Being in love. It's one of the most beautiful experiences. has been the subject of poetry and essays and inquiry for thousands of years and always will be. It's one of the greatest powers on earth. So part of what I'm going to do as we, we speak with one another is read different poems that I've written and a book that I dedicated to my wife. You raise me from the ordinary to the extraordinary. With you, I see. With you, I feel the pulse of life. With you, I cry for the exquisite beauty I feel. So love, and more, more, important, more importantly now, because we're talking about being in love, it's tied to beauty when love itself and being in love both heighten the sense of beauty. You, you love somebody, you see the beauty. You're in love with that person, the beauty is even greater. So with, either with love or being in love, you see the beauty. And the negative aspects or the part that's imperfect isn't noticed as much because love has a sin covering, is a sin covering eye to it. It doesn't see the flaw. A parent looks at his child, and the child is beautiful. To other people, it might be a spoiled brat. They can't stand the kid, but to the parent, what a the child is beautiful. So it doesn't matter in terms of how the world sees the child or the reality of that child. It's because we love that child so much, we have that unconditional love. No matter what the child does, we love our children. So the beauty, it brings out a perception of the beauty. With you, I feel the pulse of life. Life is more alive when there's beauty. You know, I recently took a trip to New York uh, for my 52nd class reunion. I had my daughter, Natasha. And I love New York City. I love it so much uh, that even the fumes of the taxis are, and the smell of the dung of the horses and the carriages going by at Central Park, it's all beautiful to me. I love it. But if I wasn't with somebody I love, it would have been empty. If I didn't have my little daughter with me or I didn't have my wife with me, the beauty would have been gone. It would have been actually lonely for me. It would have been a lonely experience for me without someone I love deeply being there. So somebody could say, well, I, I love that building. I love to be in New York. But the true thing is, I love to be there with someone I love. Then the city is alive. It's filled with life. I, I just kept going and walking and going because this, I craved the city. But again, it would have been lonely, crushingly lonely, to see everybody walking by, going, and not have somebody that I deeply love with me. And that's a pretty common experience. So if somebody has a love of something in particular, even riding a motorcycle, if you, th you might like riding a motorcycle. I love riding a motorcycle. But if you don't have somebody you're coming back to that you love, everything is less. There's a beauty in and of itself, a sunrise, a sunset, but it's all enhanced through love and even more so being in love. Now, two aspects to the love. There's one is the feeling of the love, and then there's also the blocks to the love, that what stands in the way. People love each other, but yet they have the problems, they get angry, they may even hate each other for a period of time. So what happened to the love? See, we, you were just telling me yesterday you love me, and today, you know, you, I can't, you can't stand me and I can't stand you. Well, what's real, this anger or, or that love? What, what's happening? And everybody's experienced that. That's why you have so much divorce. People fall in love, they have a love for each other. They say, what a... This couple's crazy about each other. Then you hear two years later they were divorced, and you say, what happened? They, they were the perfect couple. They 
cared so much, they loved each other so deeply. What happened? At some point, the negative aspect appeared more real than the love did. 